Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm wearing a cut off sleeve flannel. I cut them sleeves off myself and they are crooked. But I don't give a damn. I've been cutting up so many shirts <laughs> lately. All my shirts and sweatshirts are all going to be cut up and people are going to be like, why is everything she wears? Why is it all cut up? I'm going through a phase right now. For today's look, this is what I came up with. I used a palette that I've never used before because I'm trying to use stuff I've never used. Different shades, different palettes, instead of always using the same stuff all the time. So if you would like to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. I know I look crazy. It's because I decided to go ahead and do my brows just to get them out of the way. I'll probably have to go back in and fix them. Stuff's rolling off my table. That's okay. I got a head start. I'm going to use a palette I've never used before. I'm kind of going through a decluttering of my whole house, actually. We've been, the past week, cleaning out closets and organizing everything, and it's crazy how much two people have. Unnecessary shit. You have no idea. So as I was going through all my makeup, I was like, there are so many palettes and just makeup in general. I'm looking over there because that's where all my makeup is that I haven't used. Or in certain palettes, there's so many shades that I haven't even touched with a brush. So I might just start going into palettes, even the ones I've used on my channel, but my challenge to be use shades I've never ever used. So I might try to do that. Today I'm gonna to be using the Nightingale, well it's by Pretty Vulgar, it's the Nightingale eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. And has a big mirror on it, which I really like, but the inside of it, it's like a bird cage, which I just think is so cool. <laughs> so I'm thinking this is gonna be somewhat obviously like a brown smoky eye. But you know what? I've been using so much color lately. I'm not, I'm not that mad at it. Let's just do a neutral brown smoky eye. My eyes are already primed. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Nocturnal. And just start, let me see. It's kind of starting to crease. So if you set your concealer or primer or whatever, Make sure all the creases are out before you set it. If you set your primer, sometimes I don't even set my primer. I just go right in with a dark shade or a colored shade, whatever I'm using. But today I have a hair in my ass. I'm going to go in with the shade called Hide and Seek and just start to buff that right into my crease and above my crease, very, very lightly. Now I'm gonna go into the shade called Flip Out and start to place that right into my crease. Oh, this blue is calling out to me. So I think I'm gonna take it. <laughs> I'm gonna take Silver Spoon. It's a really dark blue. And I mean, it's like almost black, like charcoal. And use my finger and just start to place it on my eyelid. And then once I do that, I'm going to go back into flip out and just start to blend again in my crease. Let me try to use some Fix Plus. Yeah, it does. Oh, much better. Should have just done that from the get-go. Now I'm gonna take 
um, the shade called Clutch right there and put it on just the inner part of my eye. I'm gonna do the same thing, go ahead and spray on just a smaller brush. I'm going to take Break Free up here in the corner and put that on my brow bone. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish this eye off camera, put some lashes on, and come back and start on my face. So I am back and had, you know, was driving the struggle bus putting these lashes on. These are the Ardell Double Up Wispies. They're just really thick, a thick lash. So for me, that they're they're harder to put on. Struggle Bus Central. For primer, I'm gonna start with the Cover FX Blurring Primer. Whoa, it just squirted everywhere. And then you know I'm going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I did wanna mention real quickly that I started a GoFundMe for my dad. I'll kind of tell the story as I go so that I killed two birds with one stone, you know what I mean? But he has always had issues with his teeth. He really didn't go to the dentist growing up. He was terrified. His parents really didn't, my grandma, grandpa, really didn't take the time to take him to the dentist. It just, I don't, they just couldn't afford it. So unfortunately, he is paying for it now. He is 63 and uh, basically it can affect other parts of your body and not just your mouth. So they told him that he needs to get all his teeth extracted all of them pulled, all of them extracted, and then get dentures. Well, this is technically kind of considered a surgery, I suppose. And uh, plus the dentures, it's around $5,000. And I don't have the money. I wish I had the money. I don't have the money to help pay for it. Because if I did, I would just be like, check here. You know what I mean? So I started a GoFundMe. And if you guys are watching and have a little bit of extra money lying around or something, if you could um, donate anything, any amount, it would be great. If you can't donate, maybe just share, spread the word. That would mean the world to me. I just want to be able to help him. He's helped me through all kinds of things through my life with my cystic fibrosis, my health, all that stuff growing up. So I really want to be able to help him now. And he has backed out of this before because of money. It's just to the point where he's, um, I'm gonna use the Maybelline um, Superstay foundation, by the way. It's just gotten to a point, he can't even bite into anything, any foods, anything, not even a sandwich. He has to cut a sandwich into teeny tiny pieces, even to eat it. He has woken up with his face swollen, like a whole, like one side of his face swollen. He, he can't eat steak. He can't eat hardly anything. I mean, he literally goes to Wendy's on his break at work and gets Frosties because it's just gotten to the point he's in excruciating pain and miserable and, you know, that's why he finally went to the dentist because he was basically living off of Orgel for the longest time. I didn't realize how bad it was till I went camping at his house this past weekend and it was just heartbreaking to watch him try and eat and struggle and, like, it was so heartbreaking, so... If you could spread the word, maybe possibly make a donation, it would mean the world to me. I'm gonna leave the link down below. 
and obviously at a later date if the link isn't there it's because obviously it's over and i've taken it down but i just want to be able to help him so if you guys want to help it would it would be just amazing if not no big deal whatever it's fine i just wanted to be able to get this out there and try my hardest because i don't want to say i didn't try and help you know for concealer i'm using the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer by Too faced if you haven't tried this concealer i really recommend it if you like a full coverage concealer i don't have any issues with this creasing or looking cakey on me i think it is bomb uh, it's just so pretty so so pretty i'm gonna set it with the Too faced born this way powder i'm actually gonna go ahead and set my whole face with it I don't necessarily like to bake. I like to put it on and then blend it with the beauty blender. And the other thing I've noticed is a lot of times when I'm filming and I put powder on my forehead, it gets down on my lashes. It almost looks like lash glue, but it's really powder. <laughs> so I like to just bend my head down and then powder my forehead. I think I'm gonna go back to the eyes. And I don't know if I should use black or the brown. Let's go ahead and use the brown, the, the dark, dark brown on a definer brush. So actually, I'm going to take this dark brown down here. It's called Swoop. Now I'm going to go in with Hide and Should I get my Hide and Seek? I think I'm going to go in with Flip Out, which is the light, the lighter brown, and just start blending these two together. Oh, there's so much fallout. Not so much, but there's definitely fallout with this palette. Now I'm going in with mascara. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. I did tight line my upper waterline uh, with the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. Now I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in medium. I have not used this in a while because I felt like it would make me look muddy. So I'm really hoping that doesn't happen again. I'm really, really nervous to use it. Like, big time nervous. I'm using such a light hand. <laughs> okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh my gosh, this is so dirty, but I'm going to use the Morphe 9B Blush Palette and take these two shades up here for my blush. Oh my gosh, the other day, Chris and I did, was it Uber Eats or what was the other one? The other um, delivery, food delivery service god i cannot think of what it is well anyway and they brought us chipotle oh my god because i've been really sick i'm just trying to like even power through this video but makeup always makes me feel better so i figured let's film but we got chipotle it was heaven to just get chipotle delivered because i look like complete and total death and he was just dead dog tired and we were hungry neither of us wanted to go in anywhere and we're like chipotle and he's like let's try one of the um delivery services let me look that up because it's really bothering me doordash we did doordash and it was awesome okay and for highlight i'm gonna go in with the becca shimmering skin perfector in pearl I'm gonna use the NYX Lip Pencil in Nude Pink to line my lips. Line my crusty ass lips. God. And this is just scratching them to death. It's like exfoliating. I need to sharpen you and I'm too lazy to get up. I think I'm just gonna go with a nude lip today 
and use Gerard Cosmetics Shimmer of Hope Lip Gloss. Then lastly, I'm going to finish this look off with the Ofra Makeup Fixer Setting Spray. Here's the final look, guys. I will say this isn't the best palette I've ever used. It does blend well. The shades do blend. The ones at least that I've used blend well, but the color payoff isn't as bright, I guess. Like that blue, I guess, is where I'm heading here. I wish the blue had more color payoff, but overall, it's not a terrible palette. I wouldn't mind trying it again to kind of see how much more I can kind of play with it and like it, but as of right now, it's not bad. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it, and I will see you on my next one. Thanks for watching, guys.